I didn't even read the notes, but look, we can do this. No, I know you didn't. Naturally, you didn't. No, it's all right. Hey, show here. You're about to experience the 412 like never before. Here we go. It's me and your favorite radio talk show host. Studio number one is fired up, so pump it up loud. Pittsburgh style. We know how to say Monongahela and Kabasi. The main studios on the southern border of the city. And no phone users are permitted in my lair. I cuss. We have guests, but Shell and I round out the panel because Hutch the Third is putting in work for the country. That's just what we do. Jen takes the pictures and shoots the video. I'm Hutch Jr., Pops. And I'm right about damn near everything. Alright, get a beer. You're about ready to be amazed by our digital prowess. Here it comes over the powerful BEV Productions megaphone. It's Pittsburgh. It's the first time you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Berg's Eye View. The intro track provided by Bernard Purdy. The track is happening from the Lyala original motion picture soundtrack on Late the Attic Records. It's Saturday, the 6th of July in Pittsburgh. Please join me in welcoming Shell to the program. Hi. What's going on, Shell? Hi, guys. Glad to be back. Hey, uh, happy. How are you doing, Hutch? I'm doing good. Happy Independence Day. Absolutely. It's uh, happy 4th. Yeah. This week. Yeah. It's Independence Day weekend. Uh, you know, it was on Wednesday, so it was kind of weird. You know, that was a little strange. It was, but you know what? It gave, like, people during the work week a break. It did. I, you know. That was nice. We we had a hell of a meltdown, ladies and gentlemen. I have to uh, give props to Shell because her whole... She's moving her camera and I shit. I am because I don't like it, but go ahead. Keep talking. Her whole computer system, like, broke down. It died. Right before the show. And she was, like, on my shit. For the last two hours, about come on, man, we gotta do this show. Come on, blah 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 blah. And I'm like in here and ready, and her ship broke down, and she did good. I have to admit. Ladies so I, and I came back as I could. Citizen X is in the chat room, and she yes. can tell you uh, we had a little bit of problems at first, but we uh, we handled it. So that here was we cool, are. man. We're at show 150. One fifty. That's a milestone now. Shall One fifty. How much do I get paid for this? A lot, man. I mean, <laughs> you came in at uh, I don't know what show you came in, but it was like the early forties or something. It wasn't uh, you know, like right now. You've been around a while. We we've done this show for a long time. Yeah, it's, we've, it's ridiculous, we've done a few man. shows. Yeah. And I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, continuing to pay attention to us. I mean. If you weren't paying attention to us, we wouldn't do the show. You know what I mean? We wouldn't even I mean, if I if I looked on the stats and there was 25 people, you know, listened or watched the show, I wouldn't do the show anymore. You know what I mean? Shell's like trying to get famous all the time. And she I'm uh, always down to be famous. <laughs> that's all that's my major goal out of this show. I mean, for all of you to try and make me famous. I mean, you think your kid's going to be a stand-up comedian. I mean, come on. He's going to do stand-up. Yeah, he is. And he's going <laughs> to struggle a little bit, and I'm going to stand by him as a loving mother. Oh, yeah, And I'm then sure. we're just going to, and then he'll have his pistols and his guns. That he's he in the guns, too. Now, he is. He's I got to tell you. Guns. Now, I'm, you, ladies and gentlemen, you know that I am an, oh, wow. I'm an, uh avert firearms enthusiast uh if you <laughs> let's just say i got a lot of guns you have you have you you do yeah. i do and i know what how to use them whatever but the young man like got into my catalogs the other day he's in the cheaper than dirt catalog and he's looking at like magazines and shit and i'm like wow kid <laughs> yeah. 
And okay. he does. And like the weird. I the, put my arm around him and shit. You know what like, I mean? <laughs> like the other thing is like he is like the sweetest, like nicest kid. He really is. He adores his mother, but he wants to talk about guns. So and not, I'll keep not, an eye on that. Let's not, just put it that way. Not like target shooting guns either. This little kid is on the money, man. He's like about semi-automatic repeating. Uh, he's just on the money. Let's just say that. Oh, he's like. I enjoy that. That's he good. Is, he's like a sweet child, but he likes guns. Uh, that's good, and though. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you enjoy the show, I, I have to say this. You got to get BEV Gold. I mean, you really do. BEV Gold gives you the extra dimension of Berg's Eye View. You know, it's like two bucks, man. And and you get the pretty soon Berg's Eye wife, Jen's going to come in here. And she's going to take like some high definition video of Shell and I in the studio, you know, that nobody else is going to get. And you're going to get five, ten minutes of like awesome video inside the studio. Me doing something stupid. I doubt that. Usually. But, <laughs> but at least they'll get inside the studio. Like you're getting a professional video of us right now or audio, you know, just back and forth. But when, when, Jen comes in, she just takes it. Anything we do, you get to see, you know, and you get automatic, you know, contact with the uh, email and the telephone links and everything. It's just uh, the only way to go. Every now and then we throw a a blog out there, something that you can read. Uh, two bucks, do it. Now, listen to me. The other thing is Facebook. We got a Facebook page. Berg's Eye View has a fa – this is my uh, – time when I, I have to start pimping this stuff because, ladies and gentlemen, we do this shit for free. You know what I mean? The only way that we get any kind of satisfaction is with your reaction to this stuff. So we have a Facebook page, uh, and all you have to do is go on there and search Berg's Eye View as one word, and you'll find it after the first, like... Yeah, no, the app will pop up. The right three or, Not the app, but the, the page will pop up after right. the first three or four letters. You know, you put Berg's eye, you put Berg's in there, and it'll pop up. Get on there and like the page, man. I need 50. I've got like 48. I need 50 so I can say facebook.com slash Berg's eye view. You have to have 50 to be able to do that. So give me that at least. And and I post shit on there all the time, man. You got to you gotta check that out. Uh, the other thing is, is if you go on Berg's eye and hit the blog button. The blog has just all kind of different things that you can check out. Other other friends of the show's blogs and shows and whatever. That's really important. So do that. And uh, follow me on Twitter, but. And this is a big butt show. Be prepared for what you have to deliver. That's true, because I am a very conservative individual, and if you follow me on Twitter, I am going to probably disappoint you if you're a liberal. And if you're a liberal, I want you to listen to this show. I absolutely do. But don't follow me on Twitter if you're a liberal and you're, like, thin-skinned or something like that. Cause well, I, don't say that. Well, it's kind of true, though. Cause I mean, either they can take it or they can't, so don't say that. I know. You you are very knowledgeable with well, what you say <laughs> and with your politics, and I will say I don't always agree with you, but for the most part, I do agree with you as far as politics and things like that because I, I lean a little more right. Um, our country needs to be headed in a different direction. That's not what this show is about. True, and you you were very uh, instrumental in advising me at a staff meeting. Or yeah, two, yeah, because to to get the politics off the show, and we did that. Because for a while, like he would, you would have a whole thing, and it was just. You, you going off. Right. And we and, and I can only handle you for we, <laughs> a certain amount of time. But you we, going we off. did. We were we were successful at taking the politics off the show. We did that. You know what I mean? You're not going to get any politics on uh, the only politics. Well, you did it. Well, yeah, but uh, it was because of you. If you remember, 
You jumped on me. Right. Do I have an opinion? Yes, do. I do. But okay. you, you you came to a staff meeting the one week. I can't remember what year it was. But you said, like, we got we to gotta stop this. Yeah, and, you got to. And I did. So our show's our and show. I so created, let's continue. And I created an entire <laughs> new show. show. I, I created an entire new show. So if you like to hear politics, go to steelcityresistance.wordpress.com. But that's enough of that. All uh, right. And uh, you're right. Yeah, that's cool. Well, there uh, you go. Got boobies. So, we're, oh, look at that. Nope. Come on, man. Even that shit up. So, uh, <laughs> I had some tweets from Eric, but they disappeared, man. Eric tweeted some shit about hydration and other stuff. And Eric, I don't know, Funky Dung, I don't know what happened, man. They disappeared from Twitter. Somebody tell me, what's the policy on Twitter on keeping hashtag tweets? Because they disappeared, man. I don't know what to tell you. I had two of them, and I should have captured them earlier, but I guess I didn't. And, uh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, comment on our posts. When we put a post on Facebook or something, comment, man. Eric's real good. He does it on Twitter, but... Man, I can't find him now. I don't know what happened there. I really don't know how to respond to that. I don't like, wasn't expecting you to. Okay, because I don't. It was just something that, like, now, move it to the left. You're showing the beer kegs over there. Ease your camera the other way toward here. <laughs> I don't know. All right, right there. Right now, a little bit more. No, a little more. What? That way. Move your camera that way. So, anyway... No, nah, I listen to Huts. Dun Dex, Citizen X. What? What interface? Are, all right, anyway. I don't know. I'll have to uh, get back to you on that, on the interface. But uh, let me tell you something about construction in Pittsburgh. Tell me about it. Wow. This used to be a very highly industrial area where there was no problem with any kind of industrial operations. Not since I've ever lived here. It's been construction, construction, construction. These people up here in Brookline, I swear to God, I don't know how this happened. But they must have just, like, threw out the bidding to the lowest bidder. They got, like, regular Toyota pickup trucks. Yeah, prob and fucking, probably. Uh, I'm saying uh, these little... What do you call them little things? <laughs> Smart cars? What? No, the little... Uh, the little pickup trucks? Bobcats, man. They're, they're using bobcats. They're using homemade... They got signs that like... Tacos? No, bobcats. The little fucking things that like you do your yard with. And they got the signs. You know, they got the steel signs, but they like spray paint yield <laughs> on them. It, it's ridiculous, man. It's like... Totally amateur hour, you know, working on the roads. I don't know if this is an Obama thing. I don't know what it is. But these, you know, used to, when you come in and there's a street situation, there was a professional organization there with, like, good signs and, you know, uh, flagmen and stuff like that. So now it's just, like, random, well, random they started contractors put, First they stuff. started putting women up as the flagmen, which that's cool. Uh, no, but I'm now, fine with that. But now we're down with, like, uh, she probably gets paid Tonka more toys. Than me. We're using Tonka toys uh, to actually do the work, man. It's, like, uh, ridiculous, man. They're, they're tying up the road for three, four days. You know, it's just ridiculous. Uh, I, I've noticed this lately around the area. Now, I, I want to say, because I missed something on the last point. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please check the blog out. Go to burgersiveview.com, hit the blog button. And the gray kangaroo. Now, Shell, you can talk about the gray kangaroo. The gray kangaroo is pretty nice. It is, but it's been out of fruition Production. It was out of production for a while, but it's back in is now. Is fruition like a proper word to say for that? No, fruition is I like... Th I think it works. All right, for me it works. Uh, for show it works, <laughs> so we're going to go with that. But yes, no, it was... Um, but we use it when we drink our shot, so it's filtered like six times. 
So you can take any shot you want or any drink or liquor of choice and filter it. It's like a charcoal filter, I think. Yeah, it's a charcoal yeah. filter. It's great. Yeah, and you and it it comes out really smooth and then you don't feel it the next day. So we are promoting right now, I think, um Grey Goose. Not Grey Goose. No, great, not Grey Kangaroo. Grey Kangaroo. All right. See, I get confused. Motown 65, welcome <laughs> to the chat room, man. We appreciate you hanging in there. Yeah, she's and, here. And, uh, you know, I love that Grey Kangaroo, man. I mean, you know, I'm, I drink, I don't drink like a lot of whiskey. Well, no, let me take that back. I don't drink a lot of whiskey at a time, but I drink four or five shots a night. And uh, it's nice to take. 750 milliliters of Heaven Hill and turn it into something smooth. Some shit that's better than back that than Jack Daniels. I mean, it just uh, it is what it is, right? You drank it, Shell. I mean, you know. No, I agree with you. It is smooth. And you feel okay in the morning. I mean, if you want to go wild and shit, I mean. But... Now, I have to take it to Giant Eagle. No, we're always going to John Eagle. You know, I have to. I know you do. What's up in John Eagle? I mean, is it the salad bar? No, you. you, Is it the the standing in line behind people? What is it? Is it? You know, you know the dude. You know the dude that with with the walker. Sideways, yeah. You know sideways, right? Shell's getting her picture taken now. She got a whole. I really don't give a shit. You really don't give a shit. You don't care. (laughs) Obviously. Yeah, you don't give a shit, but you're looking over there. (laughs) So you know, uh, you know, sideways, right? Yeah, I do. I mean, now, ladies and gentlemen, this this dude sideways, he's an unfortunate individual. He uh, has a leg that is positioned kind of sideways. And he is uh, charged with moving the carts to and fro. You're with me, Shell. You know the guy I'm talking he, about. I absolutely know who you are. And so, they hire, yeah, he's been working there for a long time. I absolutely know. So this guy sideways, I'm checking him out one day, and he got shorts on. And it looks like he has a wooden leg, Right. You follow me? Is it metallic? No, it just looked like a wooden leg. The motherfucker had shorts on, and it looked like a wooden leg. <laughs> His so, name is Sideways. <laughs> that's what I call him. You know, he's he's Commander Sideways, but because he like, ladies and gentlemen, this dude and I have no Giant Eagle. I have to give him props because they will hire. Some handicapped people. They do. The whole goddamn store is full they of handicapped do. people. We've talked about this before. They do. The one dude in the wheelchair loves me. Right. And they're everywhere. But sideways, Commander Sideways, and I'm going to make fun of him. Fuck Aww, you if you don't well, like it. Be nice. But anyway, I was checking his leg out, and I thought it was a wooden leg, and the dude has like a wooden leg that the foot's turned wrong. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a wooden leg... And the foot's turned to the right, and you're trying to move these carts up. Why don't you just get a carpenter to saw the foot off and turn it the right way? And but anyway, I, I checked it out. <laughs> I checked it out the other day, and it's just a sock, man. It's not a wooden leg. It's just a sock. Yeah, yeah. I kind of felt bad, you know what I mean? But it is what it is no he has a condition a condition he has a fucked up leg yep that's a condition <laughs> and he called it a wooden leg <coughs> i thought it was a wooden leg <laughs> i did he, I, I never and i know exactly who you're talking about i never in Simon, my life he could run he could run a motherfucking line of oh, uh, shopping carts he will like shuffle. 20 fucking shopping carts right. man and he's I mean, on a wooden was leg did it uh, I'm just saying. Did Citizen you ever shake his hand? Guy named Skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever shake his hand? No, I left him alone, man. I, you know, what I mean, I, <laughs> I left him alone. 
Anyway, uh, we got some continuing shit. Dormont. Now, I'm going through Dormont. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is a... I don't want to call it a suburb because it's, like, right over the line from Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? I mean, you could call it a suburb, I guess. But I'm driving through this thing, and I, I see all these signs, and it's like, stop public safety cuts. You know, liberal cities are all fucked up. Every single... And I said that, what did you just do? I just did that to help save my computer. Okay. Every single liberal city in the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, has problems with their spending. And they all take it out on the cops because they have to. That's their biggest, the, the, the public safety. And Unless you're in New York and then you just spend money on crazy shit. But regular cities like Pittsburgh and Dormont, they're losing their ass. Bring it down a little bit. I know. I'm on, on, on Because of their public safety officials. Okay, so... And the union wages, but whatever. So they, everybody's got these signs in their yard. Stop the public safety cuts. And I'm driving through Dormont, and I get to the red light. And the red light starts talking to me. They invested in a red light that talks to you. And it's got a, a, a counter that does, uh, like, a countdown thing it's like 10 seconds nine seconds but it talks to you yeah but this is i saw one the other day and that was the first time i saw one when you cross in the street and it says five four three two like that was the first time i saw that on a crosswalk and this is in the same neighborhood where people have signs up that say stop public safety cuts it's like stop spending money stupidly you ignorant people <laughs> You know, that was my whole point about it. It's like one half a block away from these signs is this ridiculous, overexpensive light system that doesn't work and it's not synced in. Dormont's really messed up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. <laughs> every business, that, that every, everything's messed up. That was the point of that. Hey, Hutch, Hutch Unit, uh, founding member of the program is at LDAC, Leadership Development Assessment something, out at Fort mm. Lewis. He's doing good. You can follow him on Facebook. He is doing good. He is, man. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. He's the man. I adore, I adore Hutch. He's doing a good job out there, man. And you'll be able to see him, you know, follow us on Facebook, and, and you'll be able to see the links to uh, his pictures. He's doing a good job for the country. One day he'll get back on the show, I guess. I don't know. He might. <laughs> One <laughs> we'll, day I'll have to we'll punch see. him and make sure. Hey, who was over the BEV Lounge last week? We had one of our... Mad Mike. Yeah. So he was here a couple days ago. He he made a Pittsburgh stop. He's from Jersey. And he's out there and he came over here. That was pretty cool, man. <clears throat> and he did his stops from, and he did like the um, Mayhem show. Yeah, he went to Wrestling Mayhem, SorgatronMedia.com. Yes, catch him on there. And then he came over here, and he gave me the biggest ass hug I've ever had. Did he? Oh, yeah. My legs were flying. Like, the dude's tall. Mike, you're he's a big so guy. tall. Yeah, he's a big guy. But he's really tall, so he picks he me up. He stayed over the house. He picks me up like a puppet. Hmm. And my legs are flaring, but I hug that way, so it's good. That's cool. So that was fun. Yeah, it was. It was fun. And now I'm trying to find this thing, and we're going to find it, and here we go. Is this me? No. All right, we're going into the news, and let's check it out. Down in uh, San Diego, San Diego, I'll tell you what, I can't imagine if I had brought the whole family out there and went to see the fireworks, but a, comp a computer glitch apparently caused the fireworks mishap that disappointed thousands of people who had camped out to watch the Big Bay boom in San Diego's 
Gliorida Bay Wednesday night. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw this thing, but you can go online and check it out. And they lit this fireworks display or ignited it. And all of a sudden, the entire 20 minute display went up in like two minutes, man. It was nuts. Did you see it online? I haven't seen it, but you've told me about it, so it sounds pretty... absolutely crazy, man. Yeah, it sounds nuts. Like, it was. To see it. It was absolutely stupid, man. It, it got so Were crazy. Were people hurt? No, nobody got hurt, but the entire, uh, like I said, the entire, like, 15, 20-minute uh, display went up in, like, seconds, man. It was crazy. Yeah, that's it was nuts. absolutely nuts. Uh, Shell, do you have the uh, the second story? I think you do. I have a story about um, Pittsburgh Development Authority gets five hundred thousand grand from state gambling funds. Finally, our gambling funds going somewhere. A state agency awarded five hundred grand from in gambling funds to help. Um, Bring a Market Square project to fruition. Frui- er, fruition. Fruition. Did I, I use that word you earlier? Did. I did. You did. I didn't even mean to, but I used it and it was a real word. You're doing right. good, but let, let, The let. Commonwealth Financing Authority awarded the grant of Pittsburgh Urban Redevelopment Authority, which will use the money for infrastructure. Uh, all right. To <laughs> Use the money for uh, whatever reconstruction and, and improvements. Energy, energy. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Just talk about the story. Energy. Will ya? Ah. All right. The development will include offices, retails, a hotel, and a nice story parking lot. A nine-story parking lot. I said nice. That's good. I mean, but... Nine-story. And then the project will create over a thousand jobs. Um, I doubt that. That's that's some Obama figures. Into the ever-popular Market Square and continue downtown. Is Market Square popular with you? It was when I was really young. Yeah, but now... And I'm not young. I know, man. Why would they put that shit in Market Square? To they should have took promote- that money. Young people. They should have put that money in like Shady Side or, or East Liberty or or, or Brookline or put it in Brookline. You know what I mean? They they always keep pumping this shit down downtown. Down. You know nobody wants to go downtown. Who wants to go to Market Square? I don't. I like. I will tell you. I went downtown when I was young and underage. Yeah, but do you want to go down there now? Uh, I don't know. I don't, but as long hey, if our money is going to somewhere, yeah, that's true. It's better than nowhere. That's true. And if it's gonna reproduce jobs, that's a thousand jobs. How in the fuck is that gonna make a thousand jobs? Come on now. Anyway, okay, that's cool. That's fine. It's there. You did good. <laughs> we'll see when I hear it in the morning. <laughs> I was up the other day. I get up about five thirty, six o'clock in the morning. I go out my front porch, drink up coffee, you know what I mean, sit out there. The other day, on a Monday, I had drill, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I had to work Saturday and Sunday. I get up Monday, and I'm out my porch, and this guy, about four or five houses down, 7 o'clock in the morning, gets his mower out, and starts cutting the grass. Can you imagine that? Seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I don't. I don't what find an any offense. Bastard. I don't find any offense to that. What if you're really? Oh, yeah, I, I really don't. Okay, that's the difference between me and you. I thought it was ignorant as hell. No, it, I just did. I thought it was like really. You just did that. Well, then, to me, How I think I that, think man? of the backstory. What's the backstory? Is he probably has to do a lot of other things, so he's going to get this done. Really? That's what you think? I don't know. I thought that yeah. was ignorant. No, I don't think that. I, to me, you guys can say otherwise. <laughs> I thought he was. Do, at least he cuts his grass. Well, yeah. And then but he probably has other <laughs> things to do. 
But so his day has started. Early. His day has started. He's really? gonna get. He's gonna get check number one done. No shit. And then he's gonna do other things. All right, that's cool. No, that was me. I didn't like that. What? I didn't like that at all. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be, but it wasn't the right thing. This is. Okay, the main point is the Bucks are kicking ass right now, man. It is so awesome to watch this team lately. I mean, we lost tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We did. But uh, the Pirates are on such a tear right now that it's just excellent to watch them. How about it, Shell? How about it? You know how I feel. I mean, they are. Uh, it's it's so nice to watch them. Carson, Carson's pitched a, a, a game last night that was just nuts, man. We lost tonight, like I said, but the uh, the standings are excellent. We're going to win the World Series this year. We'll see. Let's hope. I mean, we're 40, 46 and 37. We're uh, doing good. We're in first place in the National League Central. Uh, the last 10, we won eight. We lost three. Streak, we lost one. Home, we're 27 and 14. Road, 19 and 23. And it's just. Uh, Unbelievable, man. It's outstanding. I love watching it. It's crazy. You even watched the game tonight. I had no choice. But, yeah, I did, and I got into it. That's true. I got into it. It is absolutely nuts, man. I mean, it's – you have to have lived through a a world championship series to understand what I'm trying to say, especially if you're – Young, because everybody thinks this is a Steeler town, and it's really not. This is absolutely a baseball town. I mean, the pot, the Steelers only got good in, what, 1971 or two? I mean, they totally sucked from the day that they were the Steelers until Don't then. Don't trash them. I, I'm Don't just telling the truth. No, it's the truth, though. Well... You know, they, they sucked the entire time up until then. So, man, the Bucks got a new thing. It's the Zoltan. What is it? The Zoltan. There it is. I think that's what they say the or Zoltan what they Z. do the when, Zoltan Z. when they have, like, a save. Oh, it's great, man. <clears throat> you know. Am I wrong? Is that what they do? No, every time they get an extra base hit, they do that. <clears throat> So I'm kind of And actually, right. actually, Pirate fans are doing it anytime anything's good. But, Shell, I'm going to turn the uh, powerful BEV microphone over to you because you are going to explain. Ladies and gentlemen, Shell and, man, all this loud noises. Shell and. Uh, I'm on vacation. And okay. Jen went on vacation to the. Jersey, Jersey Shore, Shore. <laughs> to the Jersey Shore, and we went to visit our friend Brandy. And if you guys are listeners, you know Brandy. She's from Massachusetts, and she's a straight um, New England fan. She says "caw" and oh, "whoa" yeah, and something. and "whoa" and <laughs> "fuck you, fuck you." That's Brandy. Love her. So, Jen and I, we drove down. We took the boys, my boy and her, to go visit Brandy. And we did, when we first got there, we're like, we went to the hotel. And it was a fabulous hotel. And, like, not fabulous, but it was, like, fabulous. It was, like, a, a block away from the beach. 
and there's a pool and there's a bar and it's just like good times. But the owner, or I don't even know if he's the owner or whatever, his name's Frank. So Frank's always on the lookout. You got to keep Frank. Oh, Frank. All right. Anyway, he was part of our experience. But the one thing that was funny is we went out to dinner the one night. And we, what, what you've been there. The the dinner place. Called yeah, I went to Mass Stories. That's, Mass that's Stories. a place right I, outside of Fort right. Dix. I forget the in name. Borden, Bordentown, New Jersey. Mass Stories is very good. They and have so, good. Uh, and it's like a huge place and has like a, has a bakery right on site. Right. It has a bakery. It has like a diner site and has like a restaurant site. So we went to the restaurant area, which is like nicer. And we were in this, like, big round table. As soon as we walked in, the guy's like, oh, I got you. I'll seat you. And he was our waiter. And he was very, very nice. His name's Wayne. And so picture me, Brandy, Ryan and Nick, and Jen in a big round table, like, ordering food and stuff. And Brandy and I get a glass of wine with our water. What kind of wine? She called it something different. It it was like a better type of Zinfandel. I got. I have birth. <laughs> whatever. No, but it was a better type of Zinfandel or whatever, like white. So, her and I have like a small glass of wine. And the waiter, Wayne, was very smitten with me. He for Smitten? Some, for some reason, he absolutely adored me. Whatever. Like, we're in a round table, and the hush is leaving me, but we're going to go with this, okay? And then Brandy, she's got her accent. She's from New Hampshire. She's got her glasses, but she's very cute. Like, she's young looking, and she's cute. And we got Jen, and Jen's cute. She's come from the beach. She's like, I don't care what I look like. She, and she's got her, pir or her pirate shirt on. And the boys look like the boys. Oh, no where do I go with this? Um, but before we even got to order food, before we even got to order food, this lady in the table behind us, white hair, older lady, comes up to Brandy. She's like, you have a beautiful family. And Brandy's face is like, what? <laughs> like, like, she's the grandma of the bunch. And I'm like, I'm like, um, well, he's mine. I'm pointing to my child. And she's like, well, you look like you're 12. I'm like, no, nah, but he's mine. So, <laughs> so the old lady was up there. And she like thought she that was Brandy, giving like a complete. Brandy's compliment. like the matriarch. She was like big. And she was trying to be the nice. She thought we looked like a nice family. <laughs> like Brandy was the grandmother, I was the twelve-year-old, and I don't even know what Jen was. But we don't even. Have, all right, now we got to go back to the waiter. The waiter all right, who, who back was. To the waiter. Who was so smitten with me. I don't even know smitten. why. I love that smitten shit. What's he up with was. that? was. Like, all right, so we ordered. I have to put my face back on this. Smitten? What, what, what's up with the smitten? Do you, you know. He, he you was know, hot for you. You know the terminology, he, yes. He was hot for you. Yes. All right, let's just say okay, that. Okay, Wayne. Very nice. All right, Wayne, Very nice. Wayne, what's up? Very in, nice. In New Jersey. And Go then, ahead. and then, so we order. And then, I don't know. He's like, here, the. Here's corn. He like gives me like a special batch of He gave you free shit. He gave he like gave it to me. He like ignored the whole table and gave me a special batch of corn. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't order it. I didn't want it. So it was probably someone's Did you eat it? Yes. <clears throat> Just to be Con nice. Continue. To be Okay. So then and he was very nice to Nick, because Nick's like um, can you have, can I get croutons and can yeah, I get that's ranch he that's dressing? He rolls. And he did. He gave him a big batch of both. So Nick was happy. So then we all get our food except for Jen. 
Oh, no, my wife didn't so get her So Jen's fruit. sitting there, and we're kind of like, what do we do? I don't know. And he's laughing. You're at- hungry, or did you eat your food? Well... We we were kind of because when I was when I was polite. growing up, we're polite. Yeah, but when I was growing up, we waited for everybody to get their food. Before. Right, and that's what Brandy is like. No, I can't. But like a fir- like so, you we, guys started eating. Well, we thought because hers was coming, <laughs> we thought it was like going to be like right there, and then Brandy's like, um, can my friend get her steak? And then the waiter, oh, so he goes out, and then he comes back, and Jen's like, this is rare. I asked it for like. What, what do you call it? I don't even. Well I'm done. not a steak eater. Well done. Well done. All right. Yeah. So it wasn't well done. And so, and then Brandy's like pissed off. She's like, don't piss the grandma <laughs> off. I'm Uh-oh. the grandma. Don't piss me off. And That's she, where my show note came from. But she's I, being funny with it because the waiter, the whole, like he saw the whole thing. Right. He's like, I'm 12. He's like, should I card you? I'm like, I got it if you need to card me. Uh and we're like that's what? where my show note came from though yeah, they thought no. she was a grandmother she well the lady thought she was she a doesn't look old though but she got she doesn't she's 37 right. she's cute she, she doesn't old, i mean so can you imagine her face she was like <laughs> <gasps> no you didn't like she was like in awe that's but, then, funnier now. but then she played the role she's like don't piss me off don't piss grandma. <laughs> I'm saying, man. I mean, no, that's like it's ridiculous. so funny. What else happened down there? No, we're not done with dinner. Okay? All right, let's continue right, so, dinner. So finally, Jen finally gets her steak. Like, she's invisible. Right. The waiter is oh, like. Oh, this is bad. This is my wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is he's unacceptable. He's tending to me. He's ready to give <laughs> he's me more He's looking at you. Wine. You look like a 12-year-old he's kid. He's giving me food I'm not even asking for. He's tapping me <laughs> on the shoulder. He thinks and I'm she, cute as hell. Jen's getting nothing. Brandy's the grandma. And Jen's just sitting there waiting for her food. Oh, and then, and then, wait, wait where'd we go? Oh, we're, we're, don't lose me. Don't lose I'm me. I'm not losing you, man. It's getting nuts, though. It's oh. it's like, oh, everything's going Shit. on. Oh, and then, all right, fine. Shit, I did, I did lose myself right there. No, you didn't, man. The food, now the food came. Oh, and then, okay, so Jen finally got her steak. She's okay with it. Brandy's a little pissy because she's grandma. And the waiter comes by, and he gives both the boys, like, really huge. These big-ass cookies that are still upstairs. They're stale as hell. No. No, they're they're really good. And then he gives me a special cookie. (laughs) He gave you a special cookie. Yeah. And then Jen's sitting there, like, am I fucking invisible? She gets nothing. She gets nothing. She's mad as hell. Oh, it was so, it was comical. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to get, uh, coming up is the BEV gold video as soon as Jen gets out here and starts shooting it you're gonna get it, it from so here on freaking comical. and there it is I bet man uh, did you enjoy your time I'm 12 at my stories you didn't, you didn't enjoy my stories at all did you no Jen shaking her head she did not like my stories and Brandy's that's a shame. Grandma, I'm 12. I mean, they have some. Jen really, doesn't exist. <laughs> they have some good lamb out there too. That's a shame. Oh, I'm so funny. I'll tell you, man. It that's was, that, that's a perfect, crying shame. It was. It was the perfect night to end. How did you like your meal out there? That's one of my favorite restaurants. I have to say. I didn't mind it. You, in, you in know the, me. I got a club. In the country, <laughs> you got a club sandwich, really? That's yeah, a, I did. They have lamb chops and everything. You bought a club sandwich. I got a club. Unbelievable, man. That That's a good restaurant. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's up, BV Gold and Jen? She's mad as hell. Uh, I don't know, man. That's a shame. That's all I got to say. It's really not. It's really, I, I will take that experience with our vacation with me always. And I appreciate the content. It was quite an experience. To the show. I mean, I'm not a great storyteller. I'm really not. No, that was a good one. I hope we all know that because I'm not. But it was was quite humorous. We went over 50,000 downloads, so somebody's listening to you. Yeah, well, I I thought that. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we pause so I can pee? (laughs) 
Got to see that on BEV Gold. Moron. Hey, you know what pisses me off? I'll tell you. Roll your own cigarette businesses, take a hit. As members of Congress hailed the transportation bill that passed on Friday as an engine for job growth, what a joke. Several local business owners said it could destroy them and put thousands out of work. An amendment in the transportation bill sponsored by Max Baucus, Democrat Montana, uh, totally eliminates any way of roll-your-own cigarette companies to maintain uh, any type of way to make any money, man. I mean, it just totally... They trick fucked the definition of what a manufacturer is, and it's just totally disgusting. They they ruined. It's kind of ironic that the government on the week of the fourth of July decides to take away our freedom of choice, said Jim Carr of Pittsburgh Squirrel Hill section. Carr works for Silver Bullets LLC of Harmer, the company that distributes the roll your own filling station. Made in Girard, Ohio. Roll your own machines have grown in popularity in recent years. Smokers can churn out the equivalent of a carton of cigarettes in about 10 minutes. It typically costs about $25 to pay for the tobacco, cigarette papers, and use of a rolling machine. A carton of manufactured brand name cigarettes costs at least twice as much and has fucking so many chemicals in it. RYO has more than 2,000 rolling machines and more than 1,400 stores in the country. Company spokeswoman B. B. Gonzalez estimated several thousand people work in the stores. Gonzalez said, roll your own businesses should not be classified as manufacturers because customers make their own smokes. She added that the small business world would not be able to meet all of the complex rules needed to obtain a manufacturing permit. And basically what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that Max Bach is a big tobacco guy, big tobacco, you know, Democrat, took all his Philip Morris lobbying money and canceled this out and rewrote the definition of what manufacturing was and killed this industry. It's it's a fucking crying shame. It really is. It's it's sad, and uh, it's going to affect me. I I told you I was taking politics off the show, which I have done. I mean, I I really oh shit. I'm sorry about the camera, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I took politics off the show, except this one affects me personally. This one affects me. I use this service. And I am so pissed off that the government has done this. It's just sad. I mean, I originally did it for money, you know, because of the cost factor, because a carton of cigarettes cost $60, and these cartons cost $25. But when I started looking into it, the government has forced many chemicals on this industry and the product that philip morris and the rest of these sorry ass big tobacco companies have put into the actual cigarette that a guy smokes is horrid man i mean it's almost they're poisoning americans uh unbelievable man i think it's disgraceful and I think that uh, if there's any way to turn it around, it will be an absolute good thing for us to do that. I don't know if it's possible. I really don't. I'm not sure if anything can happen to turn it around because it's in a bill. Max Baucus, what an asshole, from Montana. 
There's no roll your owns in Montana. He's a big fucking tobacco guy. That guy's getting paid, and I'm gonna talk about him from now on. I'm gonna tell you what. He's uh he's an enemy of the show. Max Baucus is gonna get uh talked about. No question. I can't find the shit I'm looking for. That's a shame, but anyway, we'll be right back. Pause now. Your co host abandoned you. No, I'm right here. I know she Stop. did. <clears throat> I'm missing the page, man. Where the fuck's Yap and Yenzer's at? You want to get on the show? Ohio restaurant owner dies hours after a <clears throat> I know. You want to get on the show? This fuck, is, I'm, mi I'm missing the, the page. This is the non political series. Uh, non political series <clears throat> version, isn't it? Huh? Come on, I read this page. I don't have it. And I'm, I'm not, missing the page. You took me off the mic. All right, you want to get on the show? Yeah, we can do the show. Let Eric sit next to you. Come on, Eric. I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Who knows? Me either. I don't know if I'm going to see if he can get in on. You need closer, though. Swing your camera over to the to, toward him. Special guest. Swing your camera over toward him. No, that's all right. I don't need a camera. All right. All right. Let's fucking hogtail this shit for. There's Eric. He's the We got 10 guy. minutes. All we got to do is 10 minutes. That's it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to welcome Eric to the program. Let me get his mic on. His mic is I'm the sorry, white mic. My mic's like. The white mic? Dude, she likes the you. white mic. Can I hear you, Eric? No. I can't. Oh, my really bad. Wait, Mike, because I turned it off. Now I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Do you? Am I on? I don't hear me. Yeah, you're on. You're on. We got, ladies and gentlemen, we have mayhem in the studio. In the studio. In the studio. In the studio, but that's yeah, good. Stadium. That's good. That's how we roll. We got t we got ten minutes to go. Bev Gold is catching it all. This is what I get uh, to if, see. You, if you spent two dollars on Bev Gold for Android, iPhone, iTunes, i everything, you could see the ridiculous, crazy nuttiness that happens in our studio. Uh, but we have the uh, I don't know the wow the camera's going crazy yeah, over it is. at uh. I'm shell's right with it. shell I'm spot, right with it. but that's cool because we're checking it out and uh, shell vision. Shell is uh, doing what she does, man. I'm I'm saying it's it's. I don't. I even have her car her mic off. It's it's now lit up. <laughs> shell. Yeah, I'm here. My my mic. I'm here, folks. I still have my <laughs> um. I still have my trivia to do. You do. Uh, swing it over to Eric, though. Let the let the nation. That's you got to know what I'm working with. In the, in the chat this room, this shit won't even like hold on to my. We'll camera. just pick it up and point it my at computer. Yeah, no, we're good. I did do that. You I've know. had my five seconds. Oh uh, well, hey, Eric, he's our legal analyst at the show here, and he ain't uh, mine. What we're gonna, he's mine, <laughs> and what we're gonna do now? I don't like this camera. You don't. No. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Why don't you like the camera, man? Because now I'm holding it in place. You're holding it in place. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> but I'm uh. Because it don't fall. <laughs> I'm trying to figure shit out around here. But uh, anyway, we have... Uh, oh, my. Chaos. An excellent uh, segment to go to. You got it. I think. Oh my. All right, let's go to my trivia. I don't have much, but I got a little bit. Hey there, you crazy listeners. You are listening to Bird's Eye View. And now it's time for my favorite segment of the show and yours. We are here with the lovely Shell Renee, and she's going to give us your weekly trivia. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that feels good. That feels real good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did the Pirates win or lose the first game played in PNC Park? Oh, I can't remember. You know, Eric? 
Come on, fools. Uh, given their history, I'd say lose. I think they won. Right. No, they lost. Why do you say that? Because right. we suck so bad. No, we're doing good now. Because they've been rebuilding since 1992. <laughs> they lost to the Reds 8-2 on April 9th, 2001. Wow. My next trivia. If I can find it. Okay. Um, where did Mrs. Bob Hope, her name was Dolores. Mrs. Bob Hope. Yes. Dolores Hope. Dolores. Don't interrupt my trivia. Come on, man. What do you got? <laughs> Receive the comedian's um, proposal for marriage. Was she drunk? Wasn't. Pittsburgh. Was bu- probably Pittsburgh. But where? Well, I'm, a, I'm holding a Pittsburgh book. It's <laughs> 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 Pittsburgh trivia. You guys are great. I said Pittsburgh. Where? <laughs> International uh, Airport. East Liberty, man. At the William Penn Hotel in oh. Pittsburgh. William Penn Dolores Hotel. Dolores Reed was a vocalist in the band playing at the hotel at the time. What year was that? I just told you. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and the year was? And now, straight out of her favorite book, it's trivia. It's a wonderful trivia. And the next question is, has a William Penn been remodeled since then? Outstanding, man. Jeez, oh man. That, that, was, that was some fun shit. That was the best that shit ever. BV Gold, you could get, you, you, you just can't you right fathom the way this shit is. Unless you get BV Gold, man. It's $2. You get the video that is behind the scenes. Oh, please don't get the video. Oh, no, you definitely (laughs) have to get the video, man. If you don't get the video, goodbye, BV Gold. Thank you very much. The guys don't know how to say goodbye, but they do. I'm tired. You're tired. Hey, you know what? The sun beats it out of you. The yapping yinzers that I can't find the paper I have for. Shoes down here. I'm going to talk about the yapping yinzers next. Uh, the next show, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I will. I'm going to carry that over to the next show. But I have to say something about Dormont dogs. You guys like hot dogs? You do. I, I do. like hot dogs too, though. I love hot dogs, man. But I, mean, I don't like them with a lot of stuff, and you do. Swing the, the camera over to Eric. What do you think about uh, hot dogs, Eric? I, I, it's got it's to be a real dog. Holy shit, I don't even have it's you on, uh, on the money here. Let's do this. All right, now I'll try it. I've been cut off. No, now you're on. you got to get up close to that microphone. I'm more than but welcome. But I really I'm like hot dogs. And, and, uh, it's I'm got to be a real what, dog, though. It can't be one of those little wimpy things. Well, this is like a little one, but they top them off so famously, man. I had a, uh, uh, it was called, uh, uh, what the hell was it called? A Reuben dog. This son of a bitch had sauerkraut. It didn't have corned beef, obviously, but it had sauerkraut and uh, Thousand Island dressing. God damn, I'll tell you what. Dormont Dogs had some real problems. The founder, the the owner of Dormont Dogs, you ain't gonna believe this. This motherfucker liked to rob banks. With the hot dog? uh, He got caught robbing banks, robbing two banks. With the hot dog? I don't know if he had a hot dog or not, but his business, I thought it was closed. So I never even, you know, for the last two or three months, I never even went back there. Because I figured... Motherfucker, you rob a bank, your business is going to close, right? Yeah. I don't know if his wife kept the business open or what happened. All right, so how was your hot dog? Well, let me start out. I was over in uh, Heidelberg. Did you actually rob a bank with the Reuben dog? I didn't. No, I did not do that. So you're missing the opportunity. But I was over in Heidelberg and pulled into one of the booths in Sonic. Sonic, you heard of Sonic, the hot dog joint? Yep. I don't like to eat in my truck. So I pulled in there, and I'm like, you know what? I got a good hot dog shop over here. Fuck this place. Backed out and went to Dormont Dogs. 
they were open. I, I didn't know that I, I didn't know that you could rob a bank and still keep a fucking hot dog st- you know, shop open, but they did. Man, I'm gonna tell you, they had the best I ordered too. I ordered a Reuben dog and a Chicago dog. And one of the things about hot dogs to me is that anybody can put some shit on a hot dog and on a hot dog bun, whatever. But if you're the consumer, if you can eat that hot dog and all the stuff that's in it doesn't fall off the hot dog, you're a success. <laughs> well, I thought it meant they didn't give you enough stuff. No, it was good. But what, what was on a Chicago dog? We heard about the Reuben dog. Chicago dog was almost authentic. It wasn't completely authentic because the bun wasn't a poppy seed bun. But it was a beef hot dog with mustard, tomatoes, peppers, dill pickle, celery salt, relish, and it rocked, man. And I ate the entire thing. Nothing fell off. The Most places, if you get a, a Chicago dog, half of that shit's falling off the plate. You know what I mean? It's falling off. Oh it's going to land on your plate. Anyway, so what else do we got to cover here? We got the uh, garden. My garden's out of control. We're going to cover no, no, that. The deer are taking care of that. Don't worry about it. No, you know what? They stopped messing with my tomatoes. And uh, how's your garden going? Garden grows well. We're going to set up the stand out front soon, just selling vegetables. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to do that. Uh, Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it's so hot here. The gardens are going ballistic. Thanks for listening. Thanks for letting us into your life for one hour. We appreciate that. Contact the show, burgersiveview at gmail.com, 412-567-1460. Let Hutch know that you love show. Please do that. Please, please, please contact right? the show. Comment on the blog. Go to the blog. Uh, we said that before. We know you do. You know, subscribe on iTunes. You know what I really need? I need you to go to the Facebook. What, what do you really need, baby? I need two more people to like us on the Facebook page so we can get Ber- or <clears throat> www.facebook.com slash Berg's Eye View to be something. I need two more people to like the goddamn show on there. All right. And then I'll get paid? You're going to get paid. I swear to God. $5 is oh. in your future. Anyway, guys, <laughs> love you. Keep listening. Yeah. Talk to us. Email us. Call us. Seriously. Love it. Eric, you got anything? Thank you all. Keep living. All right. Bye. All right, man. Wow. That was a good show, I think. Uh, that show fucking sucked ass. I yeah, never that said show, that. Man. No, that, that was, was good pretty show. good. You had all kinds of shit going on. Oh, man, your fucking computer crashed. Yeah. I didn't know where he was going with the whole hot dog thing. I, honey, oh, I don't know man. where Those he goes half the so time, all right? Good, well, I, I had to keep trying to remember this is not the political one because no, I'm going to talk about... I don't know where he goes about, half the time. You're talking about the Chicago dog? <laughs> I was going to talk about <laughs> what you got for the value. Hey, hey let me, let me like, ask he's just, just like, before. all over the place. My fucking partner... What? You want to be, no, not you. Oh, all right. You I was gonna say, I'm like, what? For what show? The political show? Yeah. Oh, I love doing politics. But that's no drinking. That's that's actual real stuff. Yeah. By the way, are you in? Are you in like regression, remission, and denial now? No, I just don't. No, well, no, because they they took away your role, your own place. Oh, that was one. You missed it. That was one of the. Oh, I have to. I roll these myself. I know. I don't need. Can that. you still buy? Can you still buy the uh, the tobacco now though? Yeah. Turn the light on somehow? No, I'll leave it off. Good, because I was worried about getting electrocuted. Come on, Paul.